You're a sight for sore eyes. I don't know about you, but I bumped into quite a few Sin Eaters out there. Not me. Oh yeah, we did too. You too, then. It seems the closer we get to Mount Gulg, the more of them there are. Looks a lot bigger from here, doesn't it? If I were Vorthry, the first thing I'd do is surround myself with as many Sin Eaters as I could lay my hands on. And judging by the number we've already faced, his lordship is of the same mind. This is going to be a tough climb. But first things first. We need to determine if climbing is even an option. The more I look, the less likely it seems. Yeah, if this was a uh, ARR zone, there'd be a bunch of invisible walls. There's no shot of being able to climb that. Ishtola is right to be worried. But flying may be our only choice Dude, after all. Dude, Lumen, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Flying? I can't do that. Yo, Io, thank you for the 500 bits. What is up with all these bits? I never get bits. I love bitties. What the fuck are those? There you are. Master Alphano was afeard you had met with some misfortune. Are they actually bits? And Those are bits? Start. Wait, what? what you here? <laughs> the bits are flying in! <laughs> Literal bits? No fucking way. Are they actually? I wish to observe the final struggle with my own eyes. Oh shit. I arrived at Bottom Run too late to accompany you, but I was in time to join Uriangeli and the others. Come, let us see how this unfolds. Bits. Thank you for the 100 bits. There's three more. Oh, oh. Quick, throw your bits at the Sin Eaters. Look, chat, look, you blew them up. Oh, shit. Yo, Vrong, thank you for the 100 bits. Mayhem, thank you for the two bits. Throw your pennies at the Sin Eaters. Well, That'd be a great game. Is off the table. If we have learned that much, then the Machina have served their purpose. Ah, oh, so that's what they were for. Wasteful, but effective. Ah, that's what they were for. Wasteful, but effective. <laughs> Look at all those bits. Wasteful, but effective. It would seem our foe will not be reached by land or air. We must needs withdraw to consider another course. Master Alphano waiteth for us at top run. Thither should we make our way. Thither? Whatever you say, Arianje. I thought you were at Mel Gulag. That's In short, at. there's That's no up. path, and the sky is thick with Vorthry's winged devils. Winged devils. We might consider Amaro, but without extensive training, we cannot hope to contend with the Eaters. Yulmor's airship fleet, meanwhile, consists solely of transport vessels ill-suited for battle. And without the expertise of one such as Sid, we are in no position to attempt a refit. Frustrating! That wretched mountain should jolly well come back down to us! Good point, Double Chai! Now, now, dearest, we mustn't disturb these good people at their work. We've ridden the ladder, seen the sights. It's past time we took our leave. Dude, this guy's cat, Sid. What happens if him and Sid, like, kiss? Will they fuse? They're gonna rejoin. The lady may well have the right of it. Uh-oh. Curiosity jumping back and forth between these cats. Mount Gorg will not soon come down to Earth, nor can we compel it to do so. But if the mountain will not come to the land, may in the form of a Talos. A Talos large enough to reach out and take the volcano in its grasp. What? You're twisted. To build such a golem would be an onerous undertaking indeed. Yet the principle seemeth sound in itself. Boulder Dash! No one has ever made one even half that size. So we went from not being able to make the Talos work because we didn't know how to get them hearts to like, hey, let's build an 80 million foot Talos and just build a, a mech. Leaving aside the small matter of logistics, which, by the way, would be no small matter, the design would be unimaginably complex. 
Yeah, we can't repair a small one. Let's build one that's 90 feet tall. I am Ishtola, and I have risen from the dead 20 times. Oh, I suppose... Uh, if its only function is to cling to the ruddy mountain, perhaps it needn't be. Okay, Solid Mr. Five Earth. Firmly rooted to the ground, sacrifice mobility to simplify the construction, reducing materials required. Wait, 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 what am I thinking? We would still need a veritable army of people to do the work. Left to the crew that helped down below, it would take decades, if not an ice round century. So we need more hands. And what sort of things would these hands be required to do? How, there is no way that building a 90 foot robot is the best way and fastest way to get to the top of a mountain. And it's like, okay, yeah, wait, wait, wait. So it would take a decade? What if we had more people? More like 900 foot robot? Jesus fucking. Oh, uh, well, uh, well, let's see. First, we need people to procure the stone for the chassis. The rock found near the mountain would suit our purposes well enough. It'd be a simple task to quarry stuff, but given the stupendous quantity required, we'd need all the help we can get. We have friends amongst the miners of Armoury. I will go and petition their aid. While you do that, I'll make for more soup. I'm sure I'll be able to drum up some support. Then I shall return to Calusia. From fishers to carpenters, your moor is home to all manner of talented folk. I dare say their skills will avail us. Is there anything else you need? Well, yes, actually. Magic. Lots of the stuff, as much as possible. To awaken a talus of this size would require an entire congregation of natives. Many among the Knights Blessed are gifted in the arcane arts. I will recruit them to our cause. Rocks magic, name a more they iconic duo. They possess surpassing aptitude in magics. Yet they are not wont to cooperate in the endeavors of men. Leastwise, not without making all manner of mischief. That being the case, I would instead call upon the people of the Crystarium, with thy permission, Exarch. I honestly, I feel like our branch would take care of her little Senac right now. And she would come to our aid, and we wouldn't have too many problems with the Fae. Get over here. I am your Cynic. I believe. I, I want the Fae involved. I, I'm a we fan of the Fae. As are our Amaro and Chocobos. I'm sorry. You mean to tell me you can call on not only the people of Yulmore and the Crystarium, but the Knights Blessed and the Moor, and even those miners? Has this happened in every expansion? Does every expansion just have a turning point where it's like, we're going to go to every zone where we have acquired friendship along the way? The actual One Piece. It definitely happened in Stormblood. It's calling everybody from every zone. That's just about everyone in Bally Norvrat. Who are you people? Who? And how did you come to have so many Thank you, Faith. friends? The saviors of the world. It's a little on the nose, right? Adventurers of no import. I mean, that's a bold faced lie. The artist Alphanod and his assistants. Look at Alfie, dude. Oh, dearest, have you forgotten already? Alfino told us that when we first met. Um, actually, th that may not have been... Uh, no, never mind. <laughs> so, as you can see, you will not want for bodies. I trust you will have your design ready in good time for their arrival. Oh, God. That's so fucking good. That's so fucking good. I get why you like them so much now. It's like, man, why do these guys love these two cat-eared slave owners so much? 
It's like, this is really fucking weird. You know, usually, like, when chat really likes a character, you kind of see why it's gonna happen. But this this time around, like, I, I was very unsure. I was pretty dubious. I was like, what on earth are these... <laughs> Like, why does chat like these heels so much? It seems like such a terrible situation. They literally just bought our characters as slaves. They're like, yo, I love these guys. It's like, are you guys, is chat okay? Do they have Stockholm Syndrome? So as you can see, you will not want for bodies. I will trust you to have your design ready. Dude, how are we going to build this giant robot? Norvrant is counting on you, heir to Daedalus Stoneworks. <laughs> Poor guy. I need you to build us in a million foot tall robot. You have to. We'll minutes. be back as soon as we can. And everybody and we'll dies. We'll bring the whole yeah. world with us. What do I do? Do I get to fight something? He's gonna be like, Rich, can you pick up stones for me? I take it we will be assisting Master Chime. Though I am quite sure he has everything under control. Do I have to pick up fucking stones? Oh my god, I'm literally gonna do. I'm literally doing chores. Make that on my stream for Halloween this year. You, Tristel, what's up, dude? You listen to Soldier Boy? You have every right to be angry with us, but please listen to what I have to say. Oh my God, I forgot. Tristel was their art, dude. Tristel, Tristel was their art artist, and they threw him out of the fucking city because he painted them too fat. And then Alfie took his job, I, and then he, they fucking loved Alfie. They adopted him. They bought him new clothes. You have every right to be upset. Thawthry's not uh, the one to blame for your suffering. We are. We were the free citizens without a care in the world, indifferent to the hardships of others. We didn't know what would become of you. And frankly, we didn't give a fuck, Tristel. Tristel, you're a bitch. Eat the mole, suck my dick. But we now know that what we did to you is kind of fucked up, bro. You want to be friends? Terribly wrong. No words will... No world's words will suffice to make amends, but I want you to know that we're really sorry about it. And we were high on sin your flesh. Less? Yeah, okay. So, this is Tomra. Oh my god. Dude, these guys look fucking awesome. Seldom do we see the dwarven folk at the Crystarium. Dude, can I get this appearance? I'm in dwarf heaven. These are my people. What's up, big guy? Lally ho! It's a boisterous dwarf. Lally ho! What you call me, you little shit? Do you kiss your mother with that mouth? Lolly ho. What? Sorry, excuse for a greeting, was that? Where's your heart, lad? Your stones! Show I show him my stones. Come, let's try it again. Lolly ho! God, I love this game. Lolly ho! Lolly ho! Lolly ho! Yo, any lolly hoers? Can I get a lolly ho in the chat? Lolly ho's mad. <laughs> Dude, look at the crystal eggs arc. He snapped, man. Not bad, not bad. There's room for improvement. There is room for improvement. Teach me, oh dwarven sage. Any road, now that we've observed common courtesy, who are you and what happened to your helm? Wait, is he saying that because I'm saying what happened to your helm because I'm a dwarf and I'm not wearing a hat? Well, 
That's pretty sick. I fucking love this game. Wait, I want a helm. Easter basket? I say, are these hearthstones? No, that game's dead. Alright, I remember these things. I did not know what they were at first. They are the most prized possession that we night bless, and these belong to the kindred who have left us. Wait, he pulled all of their souls out of the well? Holy shit. Do they have soul magic? Immersed in water, imbued with fervent prayer. These stones harbor no small amount of magic. We're using the souls of the dead to fight for the living. That's pretty fucking metal. And we may imbue them with yet more prior to their installation of the palace. Literally turning, turning them into the hearts their souls into the fucking hearts of the machine. That might be the most metal thing that's happened in this game. That might be the most metal thing that's happened in the game. Period. Wake up. The future is where my destiny awaits. What? <gasps> Forgive me, I was lost in a dream. Dude, he reminds me so much of Kayim in so many ways. Dude, what is going on right now? I think we saw him like jumping around in the past, getting Edmund's journal or something. Or maybe that was even in the future. The Heaven's War journal, that's how he knew about stuff. Is he about to like get pulled into another timeline? I needed some fresh air and thought to rest for a moment. It would seem I am more fatigued than I realized. Nothing but Lala Jams in the chat right now. Too much time away from the tower, I fear. It drains me. Leaves my body frail and weak. Though, in truth, it is debatable whether I can still call this my body. Huh? When first I turned my mind towards the salvation of the world, so I came to the conclusion stairs. that it would take many long years. Many more than remain to me. Dude, that... Dude, they debated us so hard. He was like, oh, I'm going to take off my... I'm looking at my hand. And so I made myself one with the Crystal Tower, that I might live indefinitely. Dude, he's actually a juicer just getting all of his batteries from the tower. I am but an extension of it now. Hence my weakness the farther I travel and the longer I am away. It has been quite a journey. But thanks to you, the end is in sight. My wish will finally be fulfilled. How goes the construction effort? Ah, uh, fine. Who the fuck are you? I look like I do construction. I know you guys can barely see me because my characters... Then this may be the camera last camera. moment we have to ourselves for a while. Come, sit with me. Okay. Yeah, I want to know who he is. Lala Jams, please. Tell me, when all of this is over, what will you do? I'm gonna open up a club. I open up a club. And I'm gonna call it I Save the World. Now dance. And then I'm gonna climb Kugane Tower again. And then hopefully I'll climb Ishtola too. I'll seek matters. I'll. I haven't thought of that. My character hasn't thought of that. Well, you needn't hurry to decide. I was merely curious to know what sort of future lay in store for a hero with his life ahead of him. But whatever it is you decide to do, I have every confidence that you will do well. For you have the strength to forge your own path. Lest? You will leave countless lives better than you found them, and the souls you touch will never forget your kindness. I feel like I've already kind of done this in this world. The question is, who are you? Then, 
in trying times, when you question your worth and your choices, they will raise their voices to remind you of the difference you have made. Ah, you remember what happened to Ardbart? And thus will your deeds come to affirm your path. Remember this. What will you do when it's over? I would know more of you. Let's do that. Of me? You mean what I intend to do afterwards? No, let me see. I once told you that there are things we can ill afford to lose. They're, they're, he's gonna tell me, right? He's gonna fucking tell me. Things, I said. Though in truth, I spoke of a person. One who is unaware of the full extent of my plans. Though he deserves to know, I have good reason to keep my counsel. What? I have come to terms with this in my mind. Yet my heart yearns to lay everything bare. For he is my inspiration. And I would give much and more for the chance to speak with him as friends, with no thought of concealment. Should he indulge me with his tales, I would regale him with my own about my efforts in Norvrand, perhaps. Though, ultimately, that tale is more yours than it is mine. Then, I would ask him about his next adventure. And if he should wish me to be a part of it, oh, how happy it would make me. Together we would travel the lands and cross the seas and take to the skies upon the eternal wind. My heart swells simply to imagine it. Wow, man. But all of this is contingent upon our victory in the coming battle. I feel like he's gonna tell me who he is. The people of this world have entrusted their hopes to us. We cannot fail them. Nor those who roused me from my slumber. I do also feel like this is the only NPC who's ever hit on me harder than Sir I America at dinner. Thank you for your company, my friend. Let us return to Amity. Who is this guy? I thought he was harsh about the first time around. Like, like before we saw him, I only heard his voice. I get. We'll find out soon. I, w I wonder if I'll actually find out today. Meanwhile, in the Imperial Palace in the Source, I think we're about to get a shitload of fucking lore bombs. Dude, we haven't seen the Garlean Palace in so fucking long. Oh god, we're about to get lore bomb after lore bomb after lore bomb after lore bomb. Your Radiance, I have taken the liberty of quashing the vile rumors that your heir is possessed by a devil. With the nation in the grip of war, we may rely on a patriotic zeal to prevent them from resurfacing. I think it's weird how it says Xenos, even though we, like, know which Ascian it is. Ah, what of Emmett Selk? He has taken himself to the first to usher that world to its end. Emmett's in the first... Our boys here, ready to drop some gas on people. Rejoining phase eight, about to go underway. 
Dude, I feel like the, the problem with the rejoining is the fact that we'll never be complete even if we did the rejoining because they fucked the dude. Emmett fucked up and turned the one into the void. It's just not going to happen. Jesus fucking Christ. There's something juicy on my screen right now. Did I, did I spill my Jamba Juice? What's going on? Oh, so I believe he did not disclose the details of his mission, having ever preferred to work alone. I am no stranger to his ways. He joys in playing me for a fool. Fool many times have I been convinced. Dude, why can't... So Asian's... Okay, no, no, no. I've been convinced. I was acting of my own volition, only to discover all was as he willed it. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So if an Asian has a kid, like, he, I, he ha, did he have the kid in this world, or is this a fragment of his kid? No, he, he did have a kid in this world. But then if you have a kid in the other world... And you're an Asian, how could they not be complete? But what if an Asian, what if an Asian fucks up? Oh god. Ah! Emmett Soak's dick is the most confusing plot line in the entirety of this game. If an uns if two unsundered people in one of the fragments have a baby, would they be complete? It's an important question. Cause the thing is, is couldn't the unsundered people just have a completely unsundered couldn't they have a completely unsundered bloodline and then they wouldn't even need to worry about the rejoining they would lose a lot of friends but then they would just be able to make a perfect race again and then they could like they could bring zodriark back even without the rejoining potentially oh no they would still need the rejoining to bring back zodriark on the subject of our esteemed colleagues his last resort though brief did contain them an item of interest you have doubtless wandered wa wondered why the scions of the seventh dawn have not taken to the field as of late it's because they are no longer in the source this presents an opportunity oh no oh no oh no oh no oh no i kind of wondered why nothing had happened oh god this presents an opportunity. If we could defeat the Alliance prior to the Scion's return, we may eliminate their order at a stroke. And with the Scions gone, none shall remain to thwart our plans. It will be but a matter of striking down the hero upon his homecoming. Somebody's dying. Tis unthinkable that he should supplant us incomplete as he is such a devolution is abhorrent and must be stopped before it is too late holy shit dude he has he not said anything yet this is just an assian monologue <laughs> Dude, he hasn't said a single fucking line. <laughs> Dude, just fucking glamour. He's an actual glamour. The hour has come. I love that hour. Your radiance. Order your armies to march once more. Crush all who stand in your way. Is he gonna say something? Okay. Okay, I guess he's not gonna say anything. <laughs> Good words, man. Thank you for thank you for choosing your words so wisely. <laughs> Biggest posh gem of my life. Oh dear. You do not wear the uh, the mummer's motley well. I was never one to take an interest in tedious conflicts. Who are you? It's actually Xenos, wait, right, right? It's actually fucking Xenos inside of the Cantana Bearing Centurion. <laughs> the whereabouts of my one true friend, however. OTF. They interest me greatly. I but hope the beasts of his, this first are proving him proper sport. Take off your mask. I would know every detail, Lord Xenos. Or would you rather I called you a Liddy Bus?
Unexpected. Most unexpected. My guy used the procedure to kill himself and stay alive. Dude, did he know that killing himself he was going to be able to do this body jump and shit? He didn't? Yeah, dude, he literally just accidentally lived. Yeah, I mean, he seemed pretty sure in his death. <laughs> the immortality should be within the reach of one who... Uh, uh, that immortality should be within the reach of one with a borrowed echo. Accidentally lived. You have outdone yourself, Xenos. Yeah, yeah. Galvis. Son? Dad, I know you hate me, and I don't care. This isn't a phase. I am undead. <laughs> Dude, I love how he still just fucking carries around the swords. He's still fucking... He still carries around the swords. This guy's such a fucking weeb. He's such a weeb. Where's his golf bag? I have no particular attachment to the name. But I am rather fond of the body. Without it, I cannot enjoy the hunt to its fullest. He wants the body back. Dude, why doesn't he just ask for a trade? Yo, body swap. A little bit of Freaky Friday action? Your secrets or my flesh. I care not what you give me first. The choice is yours. Dude, Xenos accidentally made himself an Asian, basically. Give me that juicy ass. It belongs rightfully to me. What? We don't get an answer? So there's the Sin Eaters that made it so we couldn't fly. Dude, let's see the fucking giant rock mech that we built. Show me the Zoid. I know those boots anywhere. Word from the Exarch. All is set on his side, and we may proceed when ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Actually, I'll be ready again in 15 minutes. Well, we have sufficient stone for our needs. Dude, Thancred's always got the stones. Likewise, preparations for the imbuing have been made according to thine exacting instructions. Let's imbue it! Let's get these rocks rising! Pray return to the rising stones. And you need only say the word. Even in this dimension, these stones be rising. Let us begin. See that everyone is in position. We shall catch four three, mountain and all. That's a badass line. I'll be completely honest here. Here it comes. This this mech is not the only thing that is rock hard right now. This is fantastic. It's like a rocket Godzilla. Oh, it actually makes sense that they could build it this quick. They didn't really, uh, they didn't sand it down or anything. A little bit rough around the edges. Rough around the edges, but it's our giant rock god. Rockzilla. Rock kaiju. Let's fucking go. Dude, I love how our guy, Chai, Made this look like he was just playing with Legos. What a god. Holy shit, it is actually Rock Godzilla. And he's got like a fucking mentor crown on. Aardbart. Smiling upon us. Typical mentor. If I can't be on the top of the mountain, NOBODY CAN! 
Here come the Sin Eaters. Chai. Insolent flies. Dude, are they exploding? This is what it looks like when Asmund uses his electric fly swatter on mobs. Dude, I fucking got it, dude. Do you see what they're doing? If its hands are damaged, it won't be able to cling to the mountain. Oh, you, this was a terrible idea. Uh-oh. Dude, he, he's more all over the place emotionally than me. China's, if you keep this up, chat's gonna say that you have ADHD. Four three marshals the Eaters to his defense. This was only to be expected. Yeah, I, I can't wait to find out how much Vothry actually knew he was doing. We must try and draw as many of them down to the ground as possible. It may not be enough, but we have no other choice. He was like a light warden who sabed not. Dude, I wonder. Oh my god. I bet you he's the last boss in like a dungeon and then he sabes and then he becomes the. Oh. Is that? What is that? Oh yes! I knew that they were gonna come. Do we even ask them to come? This thing or something is cold and cruel and heartless. My branch. Your Sinak loves you. Summon us in times of need, we expressly said. Yet what should we find but the final battle joined without so much as a whisper of our name? She's got an Amaru flying with her. The best melt in the game. Don't fuck yes, with Mama yes, Branch. We also have said that we play folk have no interest in the struggles of men. But if our adorable sapling had come crying to us for help, we would of course have flown to his aid. Of course we would. What are we to do with him? I told you. I told you that she would come. I told you she had our back. Man. Just a minx. I'm always picking love. I'm never picking host. We are so very, very sad. You will play with us. Cheer us up again! Ugh. New toys? Alright, he's got the mountain. Dude, the halo around the fu uh, Mount Gold is so badass. This might be... My favorite cutscene in the game so far. I think they're mad at me. This I did not expect, but I will gladly accept the help. God, I gotta text her more. I will send word to Yostela and the others. Join them at the foot of Mount Gulg and be ready to make the ascent. Foul treat fail, we'll better, I'm gonna lose her. Even though we're bonded and I'm her little Sinek. Everyone is here. Good. The Talos has taken hold of the mountain as planned. We will use the, the, the body as a bridge to reach Vothri's sanctuary. The Sin Eaters will make us work for every Yalm, of course. But we will carve a path through their ranks and meet with their master regardless. Dude, look at Thangra just Chad leaning in the back. Last one there's a rotten egg. Let's be careful, all right? Why do you guys want two? You guys like eggs? All right, for my boy Tech Tone. This one, there's a rotten egg. 
here. I bet it sounded better in Japanese. I, I, I bet it sounded better in Japanese, man. I, I really do. Probably sounded so badass. Mount Gulg is now accessible. Let's climb a fucking mountain, boys. Look at this kaiju, man. <laughs> Volume is fine. I feel like I can turn it on a little bit. Also, Dove, have you talked to Ben? I haven't seen him. Did he just kill mobs? Wait, did he actually just kill mobs? Oh, what's the wrong button? Dude, the kaiju's on our side. You don't stand a chance. Dude. Machinist and Summoner both feel so good for such a good reason. Oh my fucking yes! I love this game. I love this game. Oh, we're doing a big pull, huh? Dude, crush him again! Dude, this is the coolest shit I've ever seen! What a dungeon! Dude, am I about to get this belt? Is this where you get the mail? No, no, no. Dude, it's crazy how big Bob Robin actually is. Uh, I thought that I read that in time, and I didn't. Dude, you just killed Valtteri's pet, dude! Dude, that way that was kind of fucked up. Dude, buffed wall. I like how they had to call back to the other wall boss, too. Oh, cool! Oh, cool, I get it! Oh, that's actually so cool! <laughs> oh my god! It's like hiding in the unclean, but like on its face. Oh, that is fucking cool. <laughs> it's a Rubik's Cube of death, man. Wait, we are supposed to soak it? Booba, rescue me! <laughs> Which one is it? Oh, I almost got one more drill in at the end. Booba, making the believers proud. I am righteousness. There's our guy. And I am righteousness. righteousness. Will prevail. I am God. Oh. Is this most people's Can't favorite you do anything by dungeon? Ourselves? Here we go. Okay, cool. There are a lot. I, I felt like there were a lot, but oh my god, it's Fawthry's girlfriend. She's just sat there and like gotten head pats. Or no, she's the one. She's always petting the dog that we just killed. Oh, she's probably pissed. We killed this chick's dog. Wait, it's not the singer, is it? Is it the singer or not? Oh, Jesus Christ. How does that one work? That went out quick. Didn't have much time to predict that, huh? I did something wrong. I'm a bad boy. Oh my god, punish me. Then he's gonna gobble me a hole.
flavors? It's Mizkif's monitor. Um, I can't see yellow on it. God damn it, Miz. Uh, yeah, my bad. That's a little slow. But you know it wasn't? It wasn't slow. This limit break! The limit break was slow. I got snapshotted. So proud of you. I'm not. <laughs> Look at how far we've come. Look at how far we've come. I thought that that Sin Eater was so cute at the beginning of the game. And I just took it out without a problem. I didn't feel bad at all. I did what needed to be done for the first. Everybody's here. Alfie. Alizé. Thancred. Green. It's crazy how I'm much more excited that Uri Andrew's here than Ishtola by the end of the game. And Ishtola, that only makes the others fiercer. Lovely. See? See why? Do you see why? She used to be my favorite character in the game, but my gosh! Is she sassy in this expansion? She's a little bit too sassy for me. The end is near, my friends. We have found Vortra's hiding place. Bring him out, bring him out. Bring him out, bring him out. Will you not be satisfied until you have brought his sassy down upon your own head? Way too dank. My, my man's got the pegaphone out. Peasants, villains, I am the streamer. Dude, this guy's more tilted than a streamer on his second DMCA strike. He's fucking tweaking right now. You stand, you stand to gain your Dude, don't worry, Valkyrie. If you only had trusted me, there would have, there would have been for all. For all. What is going on, man? You, <laughs> you could have lived this list in my eternal paradise, free from the burdens of conscience and I didn't think that Valkyrie could get more ridiculous. But listening to him with the Echo, with Echo is actually more ridiculous than Vothry himself. Doesn't this bitch know that Echo is an incredibly rare thing that very few people can wield? And at the beginning of the game, I kind of felt unique for having it. And now absolutely fucking everybody and their mother has Echo. Now even the fucking Sin Eaters have the Echo. What the fuck? Peace assumes many forms. And I do not doubt that you considered yours well worth the cost. Should have silenced I was Echo. even prepared to believe that the end might justify the means. Wow. Bold of him to actually say that he, he thought that even for a second. Yeah, Booba, next time we queue up for this dungeon, let's be sure to turn off Echo, okay? Ignorant as I was, I had hoped that you might mend your ways and join hands with us. That we might strive together for the happiness of all. But no more. Your actions cannot be reconciled with your words. Peace for all, you say. Yet when you were threatened, your first act was to sacrifice your own people in order to save yourself. Dude, Alfie, I get it. You love Reddit. You love you love to, to, to get like a really solid post going on Reddit. You're talking to a Sin Eater, man. You're getting donut walled. This is like trying to have a grown-up conversation in the comments of LSF. What are you doing? Do you really need your karma that bad? Do you really seek the gold? If your paradise can be rebuilt so long as you alone survive, it exists not for the people. It exists solely for your twisted pleasure. Yeah, that sounds kind of hot. Hear me, Vorthri. The people won't submit to your will, for we each have our own. Why are we talking to him? He is like the, the worst monster we've seen in the entire game. I made a promise to a noble soul, a woman who saw fit to entrust me with her legacy, and I mean to keep it. Mommy Philia. Everyone who stands with us has something precious. Time for a power Something blade. that they cherish and would die to protect. For me, that's Asmongold. They know their own hearts, 
They know what they want for this world. And by lending their strength to our cause, they have spoken. Dude, this is badass. No matter how hard you may try to bend the world to your will, we will never yield! We will never be slaves! Great game, wrong game. Silence! Silence. Not another word! Vaughn just like, Mods, ban them! Ban them all! I am righteous! You presume to lecture me, insolent worms. You will learn your place. Insolent worms. My oh. true powers awakened, I will expunge you like the fifth you are. Your demise will serve as a reminder to all! Dude, imagine... I am the zealous of mankind and city to both! Chosen to rule over creation by right of transcendence. My very existence is virtuous. I am perfect, immaculate. He seems disinclined to grant us an audience. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of thought he was prattling on and it was really ridiculous, but I would have a huge ego as well if I could summon a bunch of hot girls every single fucking time I got upset. Dude, he just summoned like 18 mommies. 18 hot Sin Eater mommies on Vothri's ranch. How's he gonna be humble? He is righteous. He is perfection. Find Vothri. We will hold the eaters here. Let's find his ass. Come, let's finish this. Does this just instantly turn into a trial? We get like a cinematic little fight scene into... Oh my god, they descend the upon... Okay, 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 so they fight, we run to the trial. Yeah, this is, uh, this is very similar to Thordan. This is very similar to Thordan. Are you so determined to die? One last chance, villains! Bow down and acknowledge your king! Your god! Yo! Okay. We've hit every single zone. We've taken out every single Light Warden, but one. The Big Bad. Innocence Incarnate. We're actually fucking here. Guys, I hope you've had as much fun as I have. This has been one of the best journeys I've ever gone on in, in my entire life as game. Okay, phase one, not too bad. I fucked up on one mechanic. Phase one was not too difficult. The music is ramping. It's about to get fucking real. Oh my god, he's gonna he's about to take like super sin eater form up. He's about to take Super City Room. He's literally screaming out in pain. Uh -huh. what? What is this? I feel like that kitty's about to pop out. This is about to be like uh, the Super Bowl that you're uh, just in Timberlake. Okay. 
I want to do this fight on extreme. I wonder how hard this is on extreme. Dude, what a cool looking telegraph. Final Fantasy, like, just make. Oh, 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 oh. I was about to say, Final Fantasy sometimes makes telegraphs so cool that you're not sure if you're supposed to stand in them or not. That felt good. That was a, that was a good death. That felt nice. I was like, look at my colors. Dude, I'm like a moth. I'm actually like a moth. Dude, why did they make moth look so fucking good? Why is he so good looking? Gate of Babylon, oh my god, true. Good reference, man. Is there a third phase? Oh, I, I thought that was about to be like a floor break third phase. Dude, Final Fantasy loves a good floor break, man. With your life. What? No! I actually would have been fine. I actually would have been fine. The bull didn't pull me far enough. The rescue. Did the rescue save me or kill me? I feel like but that was like a little bit of a gr accidental grief. Because I actually would have made it in time. How did I not die there? Neither? Yeah, I, I was fucked either way, huh? Who's doing the honors? Alright. Y'all gotta tell me twice. This is my first limit break three. That's not true. I'm dead. Know your face. I limit break three on Bahama, but I couldn't see. I couldn't fully enjoy it. Dude, I have weirder feelings about Vothri than I did about Gruntilda at the end of Banjo-Kazooie. I was literally explaining to Mizkif last night, I was like, all forms of Gruntilda are hot to me now because of that one... You know what? I'm not going to talk about that right now. Why? Why am I cast out? But it is you! Oh, hey, at least you died thinking you were still the good guy. Father told me that I am hope. I am righteousness. That I am a god. Your dad should have been a little bit tougher. Good job is the most dangerous thing in the English language. You are evidence of that. But Not my temple of Authory. As man and city to both. I kept the people safe. They respected me. Worship me. You literally fed, fed them your friends to mind control them. Of course they respected and worshipped you. How can this be? I should be the one looking down at you. Dude, even Alfie's embarrassed. I've watched that guy have more absurd tangents than any creature in the face of the earth, and he's like, ugh. Help me. Damn you. I am your god! Ugh. Hasta luego, Give me your ether, please. Okay. I feel like I'm about to have, like, an aether heart attack here. I feel like this is about to be real bad. The last one, it, it made like a crystal cracking sound when it hit my body. We have all of the ether. 
of a, like, nuclear attack on the first inside of us. Enough, enough ether to cause the calamity inside of my tiny little Lollafell body. What a good idea. Thank you so much, Crystal Exarch. You really fucking put it together. This is a bigger oopsie than the nine that you had be before you pulled me in. That's Chernobyl. That's Rich Campbell. Uh-oh. Look. The sky. Alfie's cringing more than the average Twitch viewer at 8 a.m. when NMP goes live. Darkness has returned to the first. That's good. Of course, it's nighttime. It has been every single time. And I'm dead. Wait. What? Fools! Were it not for my decisive action, the whole city would have been overrun, razed to the ground. Okay, that's the former mayor. Who that? Yet they dare to complain about casualties? Spare me. I'll wager they were put up to it by those wretches who seek to usurp me. They're stirring up the citizenry. But if they think I will yield to the likes of them, they are gravely mistaken. Man, I thought Vothru was annoying. This guy sucked too. Maybe, uh, maybe politicians are the problem. Why are you guys saying it's rich, Omega Lol? What? Wait, what? How is that me? Wait, what? <laughs> to be subjected to such deplorable treatment, such ingratitude. You have my sympathy, sir. You do so much good for this city, and you could do so much more. Were you not surrounded by fools? Is that Emmett? Who are you? You're not supposed to be in here. My apologies for the intrusion, but I come bearing a proposal. One that will ensure the longevity of your reign. Dude, we've never seen him all dressed up. Man, he cleans up nice, huh? But give me the word, sir, and I will bring hither a light warden. By giving its power to the babe within your lady wife's womb, we shall create a transcendent being. A king to rule over all. And as sire to the king, your authority will never again be in question. Dude, where does one find them? A lady wife. A real... <laughs> that's a, that's a, that's an interesting... <laughs> How many wives does this guy have? Yeah, the lady wife. That one over there. Uh, okay, so... Um, Emmett is going to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've heard of this, uh, this video before. Okay, okay. Tough beans, but hey, we'll do anything for power. Um, so... Summoning the bull, Emmett. He has sown all of the chaos, all of the seeds for chaos, if you will. Emmett has sown all of the seeds of chaos that we have had in everything. He made Algin Empire. He made the Garlean Empire. And now here, he also made the number one Yulmore government. He has made every successful government which has strewn chaos. This is basically the prot to Rose, Rosemary's baby. <laughs> Amazing. Before my Vorthri, they behave as docile pets. With this gift, my line should be guaranteed power for perpetuity. We shall rule the whole world. He's dead. By all means, sir. United under Yulmor's banner, men will cease fighting and abandon their ambitions. Look, it's you, Rich. He doesn't even look like me. He has facial hair here. I don't. Thus, they will grow fat and complacent, and in their sloth, seal your supremacy. Fat and complacent? Sounds like his son, too. Mm -hmm. 
You killed his pet cat. I am a monster. Okay, what's gonna happen? What's gonna fucking happen? Are you alright? Say something! Ouch! Twelve for Fend. He cannot contain the light. He's beginning to turn. Uriange, if you've ought up your sleeve, now is the time. Dude, he's not wearing any sleeves. We're fucked. It's changing back. Oh my god, we've become what we've hunted. The combined power of every Light Warden is too terrible a burden for any one soul to bear. And so I shall relieve you of it. Carry my load, brother. There's naught else we can do. It's time to see who this actually is. Channel this profusion of power to the Crystal Tower and use it to travel to other worlds. As I have dreamed of doing ever since I first learned of their existence. Who would choose to remain here in this dying realm when they might go elsewhere and begin anew? Not I. And thus, thus did I use you. I don't believe you! It doesn't make sense! Damn you! We won't let you do with him as you please! Do not interfere! Please, I beseech you all, let him go! You knew of this, Uriange. Tis all a fiction. Such vaguely defined acts of teleportation stand no chance of success. If anybody would know that, that'd be her. She live streams more than me. The Exarch will never live to see another world. As he knows only too well. Then, what does he mean to do? He's gonna die. He means to take the light with him into the rift, where he will die. From the beginning, he intended to sacrifice himself to save our friend and Norvrand. Throw wide the gates. At journey's end, an opportunistic thief makes off with the hero's prize. A paltry way to end a chapter, I concede. Yet your tale will continue and my role in it will scarcely be remembered.
How the fuck are we gonna get everybody else home? Maybe he can use a little bit of his light to get people back home on his way to the void where he can die? Worry not. Whatever should become of me, I will be happy and free, safe in the knowledge that I have played my part. Are you me? I was Graha! I was right from the very beginning! You motherfuckers! Oh my god! I actually fucking... You little pieces of shit! Oh my god! God, no! But Grahatsi has said you- Oh my god! <laughs> Call him by his name. You guys are too fucking good. I love you all so fucking much. Thank you for fighting for this world, for believing. Fare you well, my friend, my inspiration. Only those who possess the royal eye of the Alagan Imperial line are capable of controlling the Crystal Tower. Such individuals do not exist in the first. You know what's crazy that I didn't even think about? Up to now? Emmett fucking invented Graha. Like I, I like the, the Graha thing the Graha thing was like like eat the kind like I called it honestly the reason that I called it at the beginning wasn't even because of the Crystal Tower. His mouth, like I just could tell it was Graha. And then like everything with CT, you know, really reinforced it with all the Algon shit, and it was just like, you know, everybody, like, dude, you, Graha was just that character, you knew he had to, he, there's just, everybody loves Graha. But I, because you guys actually did such a good job of making me believe it wasn't Graha, you're like, well, where's his tail, and where's his ears if he's a cute little kitty boy? That I genuinely stopped thinking about, and I didn't think about the kid, you guys fucking got me again. You guys have gotten me every single fucking time. Like, you are fucking insane. Like, I don't know how you do it without spoiling me. Like, I, actually, best fucking community in the fucking world. Holy fucking shit. Like, you genuinely did not spoil me. Thank you to the mods. Thank you to everybody in this fucking community. Without spoiling me, but fucking getting me. Like, you guys got me. Holy fuck. You're like, well, where's the tail? Like, where is the fucking tail? Where? Dude, he's got his tail tucked up his waistband. And trust me, I've been doing that my whole life. Nobody pulls it off that well. What technique this kitty cat has. The Algan technology at his disposal. My goodness. But because of the diversion and the bait and switches that you guys pulled on me, I didn't think about the connection between Emmett creating the Algan Empire and everything with CT and him being here. Now, this does beg the question, how did Graha get to the first? Did he... As he traveled around with the Algon technology from CT, was he able to start jumping from dimensions and that's how he moved it here to the first in the first place? 
and then he decided to save this world to save the source. There are a lot of interesting things that come up. Also, like what time period he actually moved Crystal Tower. Maybe the Crystal Tower is more transcendent across all of the... So many questions. We're going to get some answers. Graha better not be dead. Emmett, I was on your side for a long time. I thought, dude, I was going to be wearing like just a red hat that, that said like, make the rejoining great again or some shit but now at this point you're a bad guy i'm a good guy the rejoining fucking sucks you're tempered by zodriac you can suck my fucking cock i'm resurrecting my cat boy i'm taking him back to the fc and i'm gonna just see how prehensile that tail really fucking is fuck you fuck the assians therefore in all likelihood the exarch arrived here with the tower this much i had surmised yep. yet i could not discern his grand scheme yeah, maybe you're not so perfect after all, you unsundered cunt. To think that he went through all this trouble for the sake of a single hearing. It's almost admirable in its absurdity. I hate him now. Alas, it is not your grand scheme that will succeed, but ours. That was my cat boy. You bastard! Yeah, curse at him. You cur! Stay put. Your friend is still alive, but whether he remains so depends on you. Yeah, but where's the where's the where's the light ether? Not my Asian. Okay, it's still mostly me. What a disappointment you turned out to be. Me? I placed my faith in you. Let myself believe that you could contain the light. Wait, why would you want me to contain the light? But look at you now. Halfway to becoming a monster. You are unworthy of my patronage. I was part of your plan? Halfway to becoming a monster? I guess you would know what that that journey looks like, considering you're a full one. What do you intend to do? It was you who created Vaw 3, wasn't it? What do you intend to do? <sighs> I am an Asian. My heart's sole desire is to usher in the great rejoining. A hundred years ago, I entrusted my comrade Logriff with the task of increasing light sway over this world. This we sought to do by manipulating heroes. Our boy Ardbart, to start. When that failed to achieve the desired result, I created Vorthry. But thanks to your meddling, that too has ended in failure. What was your true purpose in approaching us? You were specimens by which I might gauge man's potential as it stands. I genuinely had an interest in you. Genuinely considered taking you on as allies. Provided he could contain and control the light. If not, then he, and by extension you, would be of no use to me. T'was as simple as that. So, we've been found wanting. How disheartening. But even had we fulfilled your conditions, there was no guarantee that we would cooperate. What then? Yeah, then I simply kill you all. At the very least, it would restore the world to the way it was before you went about trouncing light warmers willy-nilly. Suffice it to say, it would be most inconvenient to have all that light taken away. And I would be lying if I were to claim his actions didn't have me worried. Well played by Graha. He played well enough to make an Asian sweat. Well, let's see if we can please this Asian and contain this light and make an Asian clap. Oh god, yeah, I don't think that's happening. 
That's not that's not the way I wanted to make the Asian sweat. You retain your form and your senses. But you have all <laughs> but become a sin eater. Yeah, man. Look, I can't believe I became a spitter too. Probably the two worst things you become, a spitter and a sin eater. Both synonymous with being a quitter. Whether you will it or no, your mere existence will serve to engulf the world in light. Those in your company will likewise turn into sin eaters, and in time you will succumb to your base instincts and hunt innocents to feast on their sweet, sweet ether. Those few with the will left to fight may rise up against you, but before your absolute might, they will quickly know despair. Yeah, I was. I, I really. I doubt the rejoinings to play. Anyway, I, I. I really doubt. I doubt the rejoinings. Good. I. I don't really like him anymore. He was kind of my. I thought we were. I thought we were friends. It's like when you have like that one friend in fourth grade who's always drinking beer, and you're like, "Yo, this kid's cool." There is no hope. We are finished. Mankind is finished. Ah, oh, the irony. What forth we achieved through bliss, you achieved through despair. But I have overstayed my welcome. I shall look forward to seeing you bring the world to its knees, hero. I really don't see how we get out of this one. What are they gonna do? Give us an action maneuver? Like, what am I gonna do? Click the light out of me? I've been trying for years. It keeps coming back. <laughs> oh my god, with the goddamn snap. What a Chad. He's still so cool. I have naught to show for all the time and effort I invested in you. He is a small <laughs> token for my troubles. He took our cat boy. I did not expect that I could learn aught from man, but I may yet learn something from all the knowledge he had hoarded for his precious hero. I pity you, I do. Did you guys know that he could fly? I assumed, but, uh... And now he's a literal cat burglar, too. This guy really does it all. Your friends are now your foes. If you do not kill them, they will kill you. But if they kill me, they're just gonna too get possessed, to bear, too. Seek me out at my abode in the dark depths of the Tempest. But it all becomes too much to bear, see? Oh my god. There, you may complete your descent into madness with some dignity, far from prying eyes. Till then, Til then. I bid you I farewell. Eater. It was just a dream. Ardbard? Ah, finally.
You're confused. And small wonder. Wait, why the fuck did you call me a small wonder? Does he always say that? Did he... Was that a compliment? After you collapsed, Emmett Silk vanished. Okay. Then Reen did what she could to stay the raging of the light within your body. Okay. Thanks to her, you're still you. But she's only delayed the inevitable. Is she dead? Reen's probably fine. You're not going to like what you see, but you still need to see it. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's worse than before. Did we fuck everything up? like this all over. The whole of Norvrant is shrouded in light again. And it's because of you and the power you absorb from the Wardens. You are boring. Not right now, man. No one knows but your friends. When they carried you down from the mountain, they told everyone waiting below that they didn't understand why the light had returned. I don't care what they think. How do we now save them? Now they're out them? there trying to allay the people's fears while searching for a way to save you. I'm literally the White Light Warden now. What if I just like went into the Crystal Tower and just touched it? If you're well enough to be up, you're well enough to get some fresh air. Better that than stewing in here. Go on. Go. I'm literally leaking my light everywhere. Your Vothry 2.0? I am God. I am righteous. Wait, can I summon sexy sin eaters now? Because we, we could maybe wait to fix the problem until at least after the afternoon. Oh, come on, you mu You guys are sick, dude. G damn it, get off of it. <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> hey. Actually, you know what? He would have liked that. <laughs> From Graha Tia to Graha Nun. Just like that. <laughs>